Hey guys, still here and welcome back to more of No Plan B. I'm recording this as the game is going to be launched today. Um, it means that by the time that you're watching this, the game would have changed somewhat. You might have additional weapons, additional tools, but the principles of the game stay the same. I'm once again joined by a core driver. He is a military trained in CQB and he's going to be applying the real world tactics to the game. Welcome back, Accord. Hey, uh, thanks again. This is this has been really fun. Uh, so I appreciate you letting me keep doing this with you. Yeah. Well, let's jump right in. Um, I suggest we take on Operation Choking Glove or Mission Choking Glove, considering we get that map scan. And that's going to probably be a lifesaver on one of the later missions. Blood Soaked yeah, Snake is sure. a big one. Gives you more skill points, but no perk. No map scan. No, in Intel is always preferable. So. Yeah. All right, let's see what they have planned. We are infiltrating. Reach at least one of the marked locations. We got two options. I wonder if this means we can just ignore this whole room if we so choose to. That, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Because that would make it very easy, right? Yeah, I would... Because, you know... The riskier situations you put your people into, the more likely you are to not keep them. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would kind of keep I've them been, alive, preferably. Yeah. Yeah. No, I... Uh, I mean, we could just try it. We could risk it and just do the one. All right. See what happens. Okay, we got uh, Bones over here. He seems to be full health. What do you want him with? Sorry, her. Um, compare the, the UF-90 with the BD-7 again. BD-7 has quicker acquisition time, slightly less range. It does turn faster. A bit less stopping power, too. Yeah, okay. Um... Let's let's do the BD seven. All right. You want to break up the room again? Yes, most definitely. Okay. So that's going to be a smoke grenade then, or a stun? Uh, I think a stun should how, do it. How far can we toss this? Right about there. Let's let's do a smoke grenade then. Yeah. Let's buy a smoke grenade. And that's over there. There we go. Alright, so we toss in the smoke. Then you can pretty nicely break up that room. That's as far as it'll yeah. go. But yeah, it should be... cover all of it. That. Yeah, that'll be more than enough. Okay. So who else do we bring? Because we got a couple of these guys snoozing. Uh, this one seems pretty badly hurt. Ring. So I suppose it leaves bot. Is two enough for you? Yeah, I, two should be plenty for us to just do these, this one half. Okay. I'd give him a pistol. All right, so we open I the door didn't... and we toss the smoke. Yep. Okay. Um, so, especially because bot is wounded, mm -hmm. we're going to push in with the the white one first. The bones. Bones. Fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Bones is gonna. Mm. We clear on that side or the other one? No, I'm gonna have him clear the other one just because of those double barrels there. Bones has the the longer range weapon. Yep. Uh, and again, we've got the awesome ability of foresight. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have him go to the far side just because we can plan to use his range to help us out a little bit more. And the far side is this side, you mean? Yeah, his far side. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The okay. left. Side from the door there. He walks but in. also, actually let the smoke billow for a second. Right. Time over. Well, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> there still seems to be a bit of an issue with the game where if you delete too many orders, it forgets that you even brought a smoke grenade. All right. There's the smoke. Now it's right properly obstructed. Yep. Okay. Then then now I would have Bones push in, clear that far corner for him, that left side there. Yep, just about that. 
I think a bit earlier would suffice here. There. Yep. All right. Same time, then... we'll get the other guy. Exactly. What other guy? Um, uh, you. Yeah, bot. bot. <laughs> get your gun. He's trying to take a nap. <laughs> All right. Door opens. He walks in. You're... He'd probably do a little bit earlier. Walking in. Mm-hmm. For, uh, for bot. See, there it goes again. It reversed a couple of orders, and it just forgets the smoke grenade. You just hand it, and then you just hand it to him, and it's already back. Interesting. Yeah, so it seems to remember that I do want to throw a grenade, but when you undo something, it also undoes equipping the grenade. It's so odd. All right, throw it. It pops. Pop. And like that. Only there. Yep. All right. So okay. now you're so going first. to. Check that. Look at that. Come on. Now, do you keep pushing into the smoke, or do you stop? In this case, yes. Uh, just because, you know, speed is always key. Speed, momentum, if you can get those things on your side and keep them on your side, that'll always put you in a better situation. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Most definitely going to push into the smoke and probably just going to move him all the way uh, to behind that barrel if we can, if he'll stay concealed. Yeah, this ought to be fine. At this point, they can't see anything, but that smoke's going to clear up, and now they can definitely spot stuff. Yeah, that happens pretty quickly. Okay. And we should already have this corner here cleared. Yeah. Um. All right, walk it back, because we also got the guy with the pistol. At this point, actually, you should already be looking here. All right, open. And in we go. At this point, okay. you cross. There. And then right there. Probably, I wouldn't put him behind the, the cover. That okay. way he can move forward up into the smoke a little bit faster. I was wondering if you can... No, you can't quite go through that cover. Not behind it, anyway. That would have been really convenient. Yeah. Here we go again. Okay, corner clear. Nice. Yep, and then push them up into those barrels. Uh, time, okay. Getting the timing right for the guys with the pistols has been really difficult. <laughs> yeah, they're very fast. They move so fast, yeah. And this is their normal walking speed. If you put them on run, I've done that off screen, and they're ridiculously quick. I've been trying to, to play with it a little bit off screen as well, and I'm just like balancing between the normal walk and then snail pace and then walk and then <laughs> snail. like Yeah. <laughs> All right, so at this point, I say we have this rest of the room cleared. Uh, it looks like... Can you click bot so we can see his field of fire? It looks like the corner is kind of chopping off some of it. Yeah, I think he needs to move just a bit more. There. I would move him just a little bit further so that when it clears, his vision includes the far corner so that he can help with more of the space. We don't want him too close, so we he starts absorbing more bullet rounds than he already has. But mm -hmm. yeah, that should be great. Okay. And then this one. At this point, we so, have four stun grenades, so we can still use one of those. How many missions do we have left? We've got we got this two one, missions uh, left. Another one, smaller one, or well, similar size, and then the big one. And how much how much money do you have left? A uh, decent amount, I think. 1,500 or so? 900, so I can still buy two grenades. Okay, yeah, screw it. We'll do a... Uh, we'll do... Let's do a frag. Okay. Frag grenade. 
and then smoke clears. Bang, bang, bang. So probably 15 and a half seconds. Then mm -hmm. we move them into the stack. Just Do right we have there. one pulling security on the door? For example, the, the BD? Uh, I would do the... Yeah, actually. Let's put the BD... Uh, can we put him first in the stack? Just back bot up a little bit? Yeah, you can, but I thought you wanted to toss the frag in here. Oh, right, because he's the one with the frag. Yep, never mind. Pistol has you to right. be the frag. Yep, and then BD7 is definitely looking at those other doors in case they open. So this should be fairly straightforward. Toss it. Blow it. Push in. Yep. And then I would have the pistol probably clear the right side just because he, he's so maneuverable. They turn so fast. And so yeah. he's going to hook do a little 180 when he comes in. And then... We're going to have a looking people. that way beforehand. Like that. <laughs> That's not the most elegant way to enter the room. <laughs> I think he just blew himself up. Yeah. Probably. Maybe not do that. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. You. Get your frag. Let's go and have a blast. There. Oh, there. Okay, now. And now you push in. I'm on it. Yep, and then walk him into the green. Affirmative. Come on, get back here. There we go. Uh, you. Here, you're going to switch that way. Just for good measure. I mean, I doubt there's going to be any kind of survivors after that fry goes off, but you never know. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put the BD-7 first to, well, basically bullet sponge if it comes to that. So, here's what we're going to do. Open the door. Somebody forgot their smoke grenade. Idiot. There we go. Smoke goes in. Clear this, clear that. Walk in. Get to cover. Move up a little. Smoke clears. We shoot. Door security. Oh, hold on. Here. Second grenade. You need to be looking at the door. Did you forget your grenade as well? Alzheimer sets in early with these guys. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now, let's not walk into the room backwards, maybe? Copy that. The hell? Roger. Here. And just, I think you can just drag that second. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. There. Great. Okay, that ought to do it. Three grenades for... One and a half rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Yep, that took him a little longer than expected. Did. Not as fast as the AK, which I did not think that was going to happen. I like how they consider this little coffee table as cover. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that seems optimistic. ATM machine made sense. Yeah. The coffee table, <laughs> the coffee table? not as much. <laughs> Oh, I blew up a binder. Blew up some books. Oh, that's all right. Wow, that was a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> Done. <laughs> we should okay. complete. Bo Bones was injured? I think they were still injured. That's got to be what it is. All right, move right on. Uh, do you want to exfil or do you want to exfil? <laughs> <laughs> Not Man, a whole hard lot of choices. Options. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we'll exfil. All for right. Sure. Screaming hyenas or evasive shroud? Um, screaming hyenas. I love I love the names that this, the game just produces for these levels. <laughs> I just <laughs> never would have thought of half of them. This is almost a two-pointer by the size of it. 
This is going to be pretty intricate. Especially with this glass wall here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the first thing my brain started doing was trying to figure out how we minimize contact. Um, corridor? Um, that's what I'm thinking. So push here, corridor, secure these doors, push. Basically, you can. I think you can ignore everything, all these yes. rooms. Yep, and then just a one grenade into the last chamber there. Yeah. Uh, just because of that open space that yep. might, you know. Okay, who's healthy enough to play? G. What would you pick for this? Uh, piss. How the hell do we get the... I expended these, I thought. Okay. If the game's going to give them back, I don't mind. Right. Uh, pistol and... Hmm. I well, think we keep ready enough. three people... Oh, yeah, look at that. It almost, he almost has all of his health. Yep. Do another pistol. This one definitely not. Then... Yeah, Stealth 17 has most again. health, yeah. And then... Compare the... The, the UF-90 was a little bit slower in reaction, but a better range. Let's do the UF-90. Okay. Alright, so first room here. Yes. For sure. So... Yep, just stack up on the door, and then the pistols will go in first. Mm -hmm. One left, one right. Yep. You learning so quickly. It's almost <laughs> like we're doing the same thing every room. Yeah. Okay, you're <laughs> going to go here. And you're going to go there. And once you're halfway, we can swap. And once you're there, you can secure the door. Door opens, the other pistol goes the other way. Halfway you can switch, you can turn. And you can also start pointing at the door. Would you even bother with the door over here? Do you no. always keep somebody uh, looking at it? The 90 would be looking at it until he goes into the other room. Right. Which is about half a second, I think. Yeah. Pretty yeah, much. second and a half. Okay, go make yourself useful. Have a look at that. And then, since he's number three, he's going to do the same thing. Roger that. Yes. And he's going to look at uh, Red's corner as he comes in. Not the Roger. close one, but the second one. Oops. Okay, never stacked up again. Mostly. So we're actually going to do this one different because it is a proper hallway. So yep. we want red uh, actually backed up just a little bit so he doesn't need to move that far forward. Okay. Right about there. Should be good. Stop. So we're going to put the UF-90 in front of the door. Okay. Uh, purple should pull security on the door behind us. Come on. Here. Look. There. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to push red directly behind and to the left and purple directly behind and to the right. Red left, purple right. Come on. Here. And then you move. Like so? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we're going to have stealth kick the door. Uh, or put them all into slow, slow walk. That way okay. they move slower, acquire faster, that kind of stuff. Yep. Okay. okay, and Turtles. then Stealth is going to kick this door. 
That's refreshing. Yeah. And then we're just going to start walking, and we're just going to literally just walk all the way down, and then right before... We'll figure out if we're going to kick the second door or not. But if we can keep him as smooth down the center as possible, that would be the best. Yeah. It's a little touchy in this game. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Okay, what about the others? I think we're going to have him kick that second door too, but we'll get there when we get there. So the others are going to stay in this same sort of little triangle shape. Okay. Uh, with red aiming just to the left uh, and purple aiming just to the right. So probably the far corners of the hallways on their own sides. Right. But we all have to walk in. Yep, there we go at the same time. And then probably right there, I would take stealth off of, uh, off of slow walk. Okay. So you're basically throwing up a lead wall. If somebody comes out there. Yes. I'm a hundred percent. Um, the simple infantry tactic kind of applied into a hallway. You just stay online. You've got the most amount of firepower that you have facing forward. If anybody ever comes out, they just get as just much wiped out. firepower into their face yeah. as possible. Now over here, we got G who cannot actually do anything because of the barrels. It's fine. You know, he's covering his sector up until the barrels and just walk around the barrels as he can. Okay. Stack up? Uh, no, we're just going to... I think we're we're going to try it. We're going to see if it'll work for this. We're going to have stealth kick the door and also keep walking. And the whole triangle is going to walk into the room at the same time as well. Okay. Just got to make sure I bring this guy with me. It's not how you would actually do it. You would properly stack up, you know, clear the room. Yeah. You know, take the take the half second that it takes to get everybody organized. But it sounds more fun to do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see good. what happens. Okay. Um, so we're going to take the P90. So the P90 is going to look at the open door and kind of walk a quarter of the way into the room. And then the other, the two pistols are going to take their corners and then focus in on that door. Being sure to not throw purple out directly in front of the door so that they can't shoot him from the opposite room. Like this, you mean? Uh, yeah, right there. But stopping there and maybe looking like that. Yeah, how far? Hmm. We get a, a slither of the next room. Okay, yeah, that's probably fine. Because as soon as purple stops, we sh he should throw a second grenade. Or throw a first grenade for this room. The others are still turtled, the uh, pistols. Is that the plan? Uh, yeah, once they stop in this room, we can unturtle them. But just to keep everybody generally together, we might undo the tur turtle on red... Can you see how side by side we're walking in the hallway? Well, initially we go pretty side by side. There. This is a beautiful line. And then we switch stealth to standard walk. Red. Right there. I would put red on standard walk again. Back right. a little bit more. Yeah, I would make the, the switch for red earlier. Earlier? That way he can okay. be just right, right up with... Uh, with stealth. Probably right as he's walking by the barrel, I think. Right. Here. Yes. He's not even going to overtake him. Yeah, that's perfect, though. Because he okay. pauses and waits for stealth to get in the front. This is yeah. potentially a critical moment here. We got red and blue guns out already. Purple's just a half second. That's fine. And then as soon as purple stops, we're going to have him throw, I think, a flashbang. Yeah, we got plenty of those. Roger 
Uh, I would put it right in the doorway. That because what we're Here? really worried about. Uh, no, the big doorway, the bl uh, second long one. Yeah, right there. Okay. I hope it's not we're really flash worried about here. Because mm. it does seem like this grenade it has a potential like reach. We should just stop stealth a uh, foot earlier then. Yep. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> just right the edge of it. <laughs> okay. Flash explodes. And then we're going to pour into the room in our little stack. Uh, probably... Who's leading that? I think P90? we're going to have red. No. We'll have the pistols go in first. He's going to hook. Can he get behind that that box? Is there enough room? Ooh, oh, nope. That's not going to work out. Too quick. Right there. Ah, there you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, and then we can hook left or right? Uh, left. And that doesn't fit. Nope. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. We could Let's do it like that. Go... Oh, that works, yeah. And then that's supposedly clear at that stage. And then he can just kick the door, because the other two will be on the right side, kind of shooting and absorbing rounds from that far side, and then mm -hmm. he'll just be right out the room. Okay. So the flash, whoops, goes off. Okay. Come on, work with me here. You. No, not yet. A little excited there. Here. Uh, I suppose we need to take this guy off slow walk. Yes. Clear that. And then I would put his... Well, he has to clear... No, I would... No, because we, we have to pretend like we could lose somebody. Yeah. So he needs to clear that corner. Then he needs to stare at the barrels as he walks toward the exit door to clear that second corner. And then probably halfway through that open door there, we need to look into that room uh, as we walk out of the building. This is going to be an interesting one. Same for the P90, considering we could lose the pistol. Yes, so the P first thing he needs to do is he needs to look at that uh, his, the corner on his left because we take the room, we need to clear the room we're in first. Yeah. Um, He's not doing that yet. In. There. Yep. No, not you. Roger. You're fine. <laughs> you. There. And then clear the corner. Okay, yep, that, that should be good. And then he needs to keep moving as well. He needs to walk out the door. We're going to be shooting pretty much through the other pistol operator at this point. As long as we don't actually. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds. That's how long it'll take. Yeah, let's review this one. Cause our security is a kind of a big issue for us on this one. Open. One right, one left. What was that tap dance? There. No, that ought to be fine. Yeah, okay. I think we'll be okay. Here comes the interesting bit. Okay, Everybody turtles. Security. Make a little line. So I think Go right through. here, back it up a little bit. Yeah. Right a little bit more. So right there. Oh, at the barrel. Purple needs to look at the door behind him because he can't see forward anymore to help forward. So he's going to pull security until he gets past that barrel. Starts moonwalking. Do you see that? <laughs> Complete Michael that. Jackson action. <laughs> 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 he 
he's showing off for the camera. Yeah. You can probably turn him <laughs> off turtle for that spin that he has to do as well. And then, yeah, earlier as well. And he's staring at his buddy for his, his aim point is weird after the barrels. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, okay. Out comes the flash. Nobody's affected by that, at least not of our, of our guys, hopefully. So after the flash, Purple should look at the door behind him until he gets closer again. After the flash, here. Understood. Especially because we're, we're just kind of rushing just for the fun of it. So yeah. he needs to make sure that he's... That means he's going to be delayed a lot. If you play it like that, because he tosses the, uh, the flash, now he's going to turn around. That means he's going to be into the room way later than everybody else. Are you sure about that? Let's have him run between... Right, right after he turns around that second time, yeah. Still <laughs> and he's a back. little late. <laughs> but okay. Uh, yeah, right there. And then have him walk again. Do you rehearse it this much in real life as well? Like, okay, this little, I don't know, these five steps you're going to run and then you're going to slow down or? Yeah, if I mean, if you had that kind of luxury where you have a whole shoot house that is dedicated that you know the proper layout of this whole building 100 percent. you are for days hours right. long each day convenient boo okay wow where is everybody Ah, there's one. Uh oh. Shooter behind us. That's why that rear security is so important. Rear security didn't actually take him out, though. They're still alive. And we got it. Job done, but. Oh. Oh well. That could have killed us. It's just trying to get out of the trying to get out of the building. Yeah. Don't need to take everybody down. All right. Guys, that means that we've reached the end of this episode because this Quake's Breaker is going to take a lot more planning. It's a Ooh, large, large map as opposed to what we've been doing here. These are small, so this is going to take a bit of work. And I hope you're going to join us for that one in the next episode. Accord, again, thanks for the insights. Really enjoyed it, uh, especially that line formation. That looked really good. And so far, you still have a spotless record. So far. So far. <laughs> Not on my own, though. <laughs> Up till now. We shall see how it goes on the next. Yeah, this is super cool. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one for the last mission. See you then.